good afternoon. Happy Thursday. Hope your weekend's going well. We can see the weekend, so that's a good thing. If you've got good things planned for the weekend, I suppose. Today, I am joined with Junior Chef Hunter. One of Hunter's aspirations is to open up a restaurant someday. It will be called Yummy Eggs. Yeah. And are you serving hot dogs there too? Maybe sausages. Sausages, okay. But the dude loves his eggs. You know, Gaston, like, ate four dozen eggs. Yeah, he could probably keep up. So, anyway, I am Lady Stump, and we are doing Easy Steps to Wellness this summer. And so to wrap up the series, I'm throwing at you some of our family's favorite, super quick and easy meals. And it is all part of helping people make better choices in the food they eat and the products that they use so that they can look better, feel better, have more energy, and be ready to tackle life. Today is one of the best. I was just um, giving this recipe to Lisa just a week ago because she said she likes all things Alfredo and I said, I have got one for you. It can literally be on the table in probably under 15 minutes. So we did a little prep work ahead of time. One of those is cooking a box of noodles. Now, white noodles are not a healthy choice generally, but this could potentially be an exception. I'm not gonna 100% back it, this is Dreamfield's pasta. It has more protein and more fiber in it than just your traditional white noodles, but it tastes just like white noodles, right? Yeah, tastes just like white noodles. But there's, it's kind of covered in a little bit of controversy. There were lawsuits because they said it was low carb and people said, no, it's not. So if you are diabetic, pre-diabetic, please check your numbers before you go crazy and you don't even wanna go crazy. I mean, like I try and limit my consumption of these noodles to about twice a month. Um, but that being said, I have never had adverse effects like them causing, making me gain weight. So they're fine so long as they're kept in their own little box and eat appropriately. But if you don't wanna risk it or this isn't clean enough food for you, this meal would be just as awesome served with a bunch of broccoli or cauliflower or other vegetables. So, but I use tree fields because it scratches the pasta itch. So, we went ahead and cooked a box of green fields and in the pot is about a pound of ham chopped up with some cloves of garlic and stuff. I mean, I, I use the jar, you know, I'm not chopping garlic. It makes your hands stick. Um, and you could also throw in mushrooms, but I am kind of anti-fungus as a personal choice. I do not like mushrooms at all. I think Me neither. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna dump those in, dump in the new news. They've been sitting there for a minute, so they got a little sticky, yeah. sticky, sticky. So there we go. Hunter, can you try and stir that up a bit? Okay, don't eviscerate the noodles. Okay. You wanna make sure you don't overcook these guys too, because you know, who, who wants mushy noodles? Okay, now, so for the super easy sauce, we have sour cream, about a cup of sour cream dumped in the pan. Clean that guy up. Uh, about four tablespoons, quarter cup of butter that we are gonna melt in there. I'm gonna turn the heat up so it actually melts. Can I put the mixing with you? Sure. We are gonna do about a cup of Parmesan cheese. Look at that, that's and a- And a meteor. Yeah, that's a big glob of Parmesan cheese. Oh, we're getting too much that up. Okay, go. We'll do two of those. See, I don't like using measuring cups because that's dishes, right? So. There you go. And that. On the butter. Okay, sounds good. Some pepper. Give it some a few healthy shakes of pepper. Get in there. Teach it. Yep. School it in the pepper. Okay. Some peas. I'd probably do about a cup. A cup of peas. And then we're gonna thin the sauce out with almond milk. We don't use regular cow's milk because
because that is liquid carbs. So this is, un make sure it's unsweetened, unflavored, because you don't want vanilla flavored Alfredo. That would be nasty. Mm -hmm. So but that I have to is the first to eat it. Yes, I've done it before. I put vanilla flavored almond milk in tomato soup. It wasn't a hit. So that is it. That is all we're doing here. We just mix this up until it becomes a creamy sauce. So none of that like, you know, stirring and making a roux and all that jazz, besides you don't want the white flour anyway. So, okay, and it's not completely incorporated, but can you see that? So it's yum. It tastes amazingly good and it is that fast. So. We'll throw in some more veggies on the side, some broccoli or cauliflower, depending on whatever we grab out of the freezer. Broccoli. Broccoli? Okay. It's going to be broccoli. Wait, oh, I know the perfect type. What's the perfect type? Taquitos. Taquitos is not an appropriate type for this meal. So we'll probably do broccoli. And that's it. So hope you enjoy it. I'll put the recipe in the comments. Feel free to share the video. And we will be back next time with something else. So have a great Thursday. We Bye. Get it. Take